It's just going, I go right, I just I'm open the legs in. Okay, and I'm just like, I just kind of cut across the ball. We're really just letting your body find its natural way. Yeah, my challenge is to hit the drive from 100 yards away. Okay, right. <laughs> That's it. So when that lands now, swing back now, push it out. Good. Most people direct their swing where they want to hit it. Yeah, That's the problem. Sure. Oh, it's the best one, maybe. It's a great shot. Yeah. I've been playing kind of just over a year. So, right. Yeah. Cool. So, quite new. Have you got a handicap then? Yeah. What's the play 28. 28. Well, well I, I don't think I am. I just haven't played many comps. Because right. I think if I've won on 28, everyone would be like, hang on a minute. <laughs> so, and uh, this is obviously quite different to another lesson in respect to we're really just letting your body find its natural way. Yeah. Which yeah. you've probably seen, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, do you want to grab an iron? Yeah. Like iron and we'll... yeah, my challenge is to sort of hit a driver and go 100 yards away. Okay, right. <laughs> so that was my next question. What would you what what do you want from the lesson? What's the um, what would make a big difference to your game then? Kind of consistency of strike, I guess. Okay. And, um, if I could hit a driver, rather than just leave the ball every time I every time I go for it, I'll we'll have some sort of comfortable feeling with it, that'd be great. You've got no confidence with the driver then? So um, no, I don't really go. Yeah, yeah, and um, and my irons. It's just got, I go right. I just I'm open the legs in. Okay, and I'm just like I just kind of cut across the ball. <laughs> well, then hopefully improve that strike rate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So at the moment, you're kind of making a swing, the same swing every time, and yeah. kind of getting um, a, a general shape, but there's a lot of variability with it. It's first and foremost, we need, we need the three forces, we need the horizontal force, we need the rotational force, and we need the vertical. Mm -hmm. So if you were throwing or hitting, or no matter if you were throwing down or throwing forward or throwing a ball up, well more if you're introducing rotation, throwing ball to the side say, mm -hmm. or punching, kicking as well, you'd start to shift and then you'd start to rotate and then you'd start to really amplify this force through vertical force and that would then help transfer it through the body, that would help start to fire this chain. So you've already started rotating that white line's not really rotated, can you see? Mm. So it can appear to be rotation, and it is rotation, but it's not creating torque from the ground, so that means you're creating torque, yes, through these joints, but further up the body. Well, through these why segments. I like feel it sometimes in my lower back as well, I guess. So you load and then unload, but you're kind of not creating a, bit, a massive amount of vertical force. Mm. We're not really recruiting the torque. All we've got left, it's horizontal. That's from the ground. I guess that, along with the fact that my strike's quite inconsistent, is why I don't hit it as far as kind of others and stuff like that. Yeah, you have a double peak. Your body's trying to load again. Your body's trying to get some force from the ground. Mm. But we've compromised it. Look, it could sometimes, I see this quite often from lots of lessons that have been more swing focused, mm. more positional, where the club is in the arms and the rib, the rib cage and the, the pelvis, things like this and not really working with the ground reaction forces. Yeah. So yeah. that we start to see the aesthetics, and that's what you relate the swing to. Yeah, definitely. But then we're not looking at the function. We're looking just at form and not function. Yeah, I've had so. that before. Okay, that looks great, that looks great there, looks good there. Well, I like can't, and the ball's not going. Exactly, to, exactly. Yeah. And um, you'll get sick of hearing it, because yeah. Because the swing does look, no, it looks, I feel like I'm doing what I should be doing. Mm. It looks like I should be doing pretty much what I should, or I shouldn't be getting results that are this sporadic, and I yeah. should be hitting it further. And yeah, my average drive is like 210 yards. Mm. Like, I play with my mate, and he's, he's a bit bigger than me, and I'm not a big guy, but he hits it 
it's, it just like smashes it. And I'm like, how the hell do you do that? I've got yeah. two more clubs into the green, and you're, you're playing a short iron in. What we do first is we're exploring all the movement. And then, and then we're going to let the body recruit what it needs. Okay. Swing it back, now just slide your foot out towards George. Keep your hands back, now slide that foot towards George. <laughs> really slide it. Yeah, push it out towards George. Swing back, now push it out. Good. Now push it straight ahead towards that mirror in front of you. Yes. And now slide it as far as you can. Go on, slide it forward. Go on, more, 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 more. There we go. Okay, now bring it back. Okay, take that away. Now just have a few swings back and forth with that ball and notice what you feel. And you should feel that tennis ball now. You should feel yourself pressing into it and pushing off it. Yes, that's it. Even earlier than that. Keep it, you can swing it back and forth in the air if you want, Tom, don't stop. Okay. So just in the air, you don't have to hit the floor. That's it. And what's your leg doing as you push off? Straightening up. Straightening up. This is going to let you release the club. Oh God, I've been told to release the club so many times, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to do it. No, exactly. Because you don't actually release the club by thinking about it. It's a byproduct. Just have a couple of shots, just three quarter shots. That's really easy. Just feeling the feet and the legs. Look at that. That's stupid. <laughs> that's, the, that's further than your, your full swings. Yeah. It drew. So that's it, throw the club out of the half swing, just let it react. Okay, so you tried a bit harder then. Yeah, yeah. So it's going for the feet. That would have been too easy, I wouldn't do it. It's just like that. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't want it to go swimming low. I want you to... I want you to experience some success, which is great. We need the, uh, the chaos, and then we start to reorganise from that chaos, and that's, the, that's, that's where your learning takes place. And do you want to swing it out here, and down there? And do you want lots of rotation, or not much? Can you feel all that? Yeah. So you're starting to sense the club. Now just set up to the ball and just rock forward, swing back to rock back, and through. And just watch it, see the shape? Yeah. Bit of a draw. And again, so you're letting your wrist transfer the energy to the golf club. Yeah, that's it. That's it, looking where you're going, cool. It's okay. Good. Good. And again. Oh. Oh, it's, ball. it's fine. I expect this, don't worry. I actually want you to physically, without letting go, go through the action of throwing it behind you, the club. That's it. As if you're trying to hit that Zen sign up there. As if, if you were to let go of it, it'd clatter against that Zen sign. That's it. Okay, so you've got a ball well above the feet. That's it. So you're going to use the discs. They move first, back and through. So you twist the feet. That's it. It's just a three-quarter easy shot. Brilliant. See the shape? Yeah. So we're going to get nice draw shapes off this live ball of the feet. Just use your wrist more, that's it. Just feel like using the wrist to get this. That's it, that's the swish from the wrist. Good. Notice after the shot, you're facing this way with the feet. Mm. Okay. Put your right hand on the club like that, hold it against it. And you're going to just push the club down to swing it, that's it. But you don't need to keep pushing it. You only push it here. And once you've pushed it down, your arm stops. So let it swing off your left shoulder. And just keep swinging it back and forth. Swing it back, that's it. Let your wrist cock on the way back, get all that leverage. That's it. So you're releasing it down, not to the target, pushing it down. Like this, into the ground. Just look at my right arm now, that's really extending out, okay. pushing it down. Yeah. So have a couple of shots, just keep those discs away. Brilliant, and you can really let, let yourself swing out there because you're used to swinging left. Yeah. So now we're going to swing out to the right and let this thing free wheel. Oh! What a gold shot. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy without the discs. Unreal, yeah. <laughs> and that's why that's the idea. That would be a straight right shot. Yeah, yeah, but you need that's to move it draw around. now. Okay. Yeah, think of it as like you would with a racket or anything. That's it, and then when you set it up to your shot now, we've got that rhythm and flow. What a golf shot, and that's perfect. There's your draw. I draw. Ideal. Awesome. 
Oh. Wow. Shot. That is quality. That feels easy as well. That's really, really kind of a game changer, isn't it? That like just actually trying to decide what you're doing before yeah. and then just doing it without. And you know what? You do it in every other sport. You know when you pick a dart up, you do this. Yeah. When you pick a cue up, you do this. You don't kind of just go like this. <laughs> it's like that. Really. Yeah. It's like you're there, yeah. and you're focused, and you're starting to, yeah, you're starting to sense the intended motion. So see your shot, and then adapt to move around and feel the swing. Absolutely brilliant, shot. Tom. There we go. Shot. Perfect ball fly. The complete opposite to what you had when you came. Yeah. High draws as opposed to low cut fades. I mean, your distance is... It's up there for ages as well, and yeah. Just... I mean, that, that's a lot further, isn't it? I can pick up a tee now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't always be fair, but... <laughs> but you're letting it happen. The key to this is to not try. Yeah. So, so the less, less effort. Of course, there's work being done. Okay, yeah. Okay, but the effort's not... Put getting put in through the upper body and the arms. You're just letting that react. Yes, well played. Different sound now. Yeah, it helps if I stay moving, I think. Like when I was stopped before, it didn't work as much. But you don't see people do that, do you? So What's that, move? Moving. They're all moving. They're all moving, but they just don't look like it. Well, Their pressure is moving. Oh, uh, okay. All the time. They're not static. Just keep it under wraps. They just keep it, it looks still. It looks calm. It does look calm. They're quiet, but they're moving. Perfect that time. Really good. Throw it behind you, use your whole body to throw it back. Yeah, that's it. Look at that fly. Strikes so much better, isn't it? Now see if you can let that club face naturally rotate. So swing it out to the right, let's see if we can play. So move around the ball for that big draw. Now let's see if we can whip it and play a big hook. Get that club face rotating. So, yeah, this is where we need to adapt our timing. You've got the opposite there. Most people direct their swing where they want to hit it. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Sure. We're not. We're actually swinging to put curvature on it. Yeah, and especially when when I'm set up now over there, it makes me want it even more. I, I can see it happening. Thing, right? You're so, trying to counter it and swing left. So. Cool face is playing that way, so it's going to go that way. I just do it, go just do it with your release. Yeah, okay. Literally, this is where you, you start to, this is where you attune yourself to the end of the chain, to that, this, this is the artistic end of the chain, this is the refinement of that recognition for that release pattern. So you can let that club face release loads more. Yeah. But this is because you've been used to holding it off, because you've been swinging left. Yeah. And doing this all the time, you've, you've really not allowed that to rotate about its axis. So you want to be swinging more this way, but let the club face twist because the ball will start left. Push your hands forward more. That's it. Brilliant. There's the strike. There's the shape. Beautiful. Feel good? Yeah, feels great. What's it feel like in comparison to your swing before? It's not, it's not, I don't feel like it's a golf swing, to be honest. Cause I'm just like, it feels like I'm going way too fast and I'm going to just like throw the club. And then the ball just does the right thing at the end of it. It feels like completely- Out of control. Feel, yeah, it does. Yeah. I didn't want to say that cause obviously yeah, it it's is. not, but. No, but that's the feeling you wanted to have. If yeah. you throw a ball, what's my arm? It feels out of control. Yeah, yeah. You've shifted your whole movement pattern from what was a, a low fade going about 125 yards. Yeah. I mean, you're hitting that 7.9 now, about 160, comfortably. You're only 50 yards off your driver, what you used to hit it. Yeah. You're using 7.9. Yeah, yeah. Using your vision now to drive your movement, you're going to be looking up, swinging up. Yeah. So your whole finish changes. Yeah. Because you're not looking down there anymore, you're looking up. Fantastic time. Right, there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Shot. You just got to remember all the different bits, like to not hold on to it and stuff, haven't you? Not hold on to it. Yeah. Which I don't even it? feel like I'm stopping myself, but when you say let go, it goes so much further. Yeah. So it must just be completely subconscious. Like. Yeah. You said, how does it feel? I'm like out of control, but like you don't want to say, but it literally does feel like it should be. 
Because here, you've, you've used your forces, that's all freewheeling. Now, mm. now, you're, now you're using the club. Yeah, yeah. Because you've transferred all that force to the club and now the club's moving and you're just reacting with it to finish. Yeah. As opposed to you continually doing all the work. And that's the letting go, that's the leap of faith. It is a leap of faith, isn't it? It is, it is. It would be a leap of faith getting on the course and being like, not aiming at the left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why next time you need to be, I would say, if you can, out on your own just for nine holes and yeah. go and use it to practice. You said you'd probably be on the course practicing. I think it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it now. So now you've got that higher ball fly, you can start to explore the longer clubs and visualize that higher fly and use it. Sure. A fire iron is usually like the slice machine. Like, <laughs> The I've played, slice I've, I've machine. played like a slice <laughs> onto a green with a green keeper on it with a fire and he's gone all the way out and back in and I hit the green and he's like, what the f was that? <laughs> so you'll feel it more with your driver to be honest because head's bigger, it's going to make more noise, more swish, you're going to have bigger mass. So just have a few swings now and you'll really feel that release. It's a big draw we want for the driver. Yeah. Just playing a big draw swing. Ooh, no. It's all right. Just go again. Just let's see that big draw arc. Awesome. Wow, I've never hit a driver like before. <laughs> I, I play like a. Like That's a, about two thirty. That. That's there's two fifty thirty in the range. Ideal. I play like a fifteen woods normally. It just goes straight up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Feeling good? Yeah, way better. Poor club. Doesn't know what the centre of the face normally feels like. <laughs> <laughs> so, face was good, close, but your path was too right, so you left, you came across it a bit, that's right. So you kind of it started left and you stayed left, so. Yeah. So yeah, I just didn't go and yeah. swish it that way. Exactly, and up right. enough. Yeah. Remember, we're trying to hit up on the ball here, so it's kind yeah. of setting up to hit up and out. That's it. It's not an iron, it's a driver, so we're trying to hit up and out and to the right and direct the swish. That's it. So when that lands now, look, big bounce, look, run, run. It's just going to keep running, look. Because you've got a ball flight now that's got less spin on it, but yeah. it's got a higher launch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. My God. That's night and day, innit? Yeah, yeah, it's way better. It's just com more confident as well, aren't you? You just feel like you can just hit the ball rather than. Yeah, brilliant. Sure. Like a machine now. That's the last one. That's ideal, isn't it? You're getting, you're getting much further now. Yeah. Much, much further. Now. I don't kick out the club though if I play as a 28 handicap for doing that though, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're gonna have to wear a mask. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just get some more balls. What I'd like to do is just take a couple of clubs, uh, your seven iron, uh, and your hybrid, and we'll go down onto the grass and just sit off the grass. Yeah. Got back here and see your shots. So there's a bit of a process to it. Yeah. Brand new really. Just hold the club in one hand and just walk to the ball with the club in one hand. And Grip it while you're not looking. Grip it while you're looking where you want to go. Twizzle, twizzle the club in your hands for me. But while you're without looking at it, that's it. So you start to feel the club and then start to feel it where you want it in the hands. Have a quick look just to check it. And if it's not quite right, just have another look out there and adjust the club whilst you're looking out there, not at the club. So, oh, you're, okay. so you're getting a feel while you're not looking at it. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to look at this when you're swinging. And then let's recognize at the minute you're going, you're down instead of unloading yeah. to the finish. So where's that follow through? Up the tempo with the lower body action, with that pressure shift. Well done. Well done. It's letting that club, still not freewheeling. So you just, you're just holding onto that club because I yes. can see it in your finish. Just feel that draw arc, let it freewheel to where we tapped. Look at that. 
Ah, shot. What did you do different? Uh, free wheel to where we tapped. That's it. <laughs> we have that in my, in my brain. That's all it is. Brilliant. Brilliant. Such a different version of you, that Tom. Well, it's more like relaxed, isn't it? Yeah, it just looks natural. The whole demeanour is so different. That's it, just settle into it. Look at that. Shot. And that was just off that lie that we just threw it into. I was going to say, you really had me off there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but what I was really impressed with, you just carried on. Yeah. You just you just carried on through the, mo through the motions and you didn't stop and go, oh, I don't like that, and changed it. Yeah, you went yeah. and played it and pushed it. That's And so your body reacted in the moment. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I might start using this again. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's, it's mad. And, and if, I'm just throwing them anywhere. These 28 handicappers, they're all the same. <laughs> Sorry. You had to do that. I'm <laughs> you there. Yeah. I don't want people to come and get me. Oh. oh what a ball that is the one. Watch that handicap come down. Happy? Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Why would you not be happy with that? How can you not be happy? Okay, last one. Pressure's on. Here you go, first tee. So, if you want to stand behind and get your... You can actually play this rather than just... <laughs> this is the yeah. Point, yeah. So that just shows you how your body adapts. Yeah. Oh, it's the best one, maybe. It's a great shot. Yeah, you're, you know, you're watching it, you're balanced. That's how you're it. That's brilliant. Well done. Yeah, thank you, awesome. Mate. Cheers, Mark. Sounds great. Enjoyed it. Yeah, really good. Fantastic. I'm so pleased with the change there because you've now seen a totally different way of playing. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? It's awesome, isn't it? And now to start seeing the right hand side of the course, there's an opportunity for you to move it in from. Yeah. Not, not afraid of it. I think swinging away. Yeah, yeah. Because it curves there. Now you can start it there and draw it back in. And, and that enables you now to use your driver mo more effectively. Yeah, in, definitely. In your hybrid. Like you say, from, from what I gathered then, you don't really use it much. Oh, so. I know I've not used it since. When I first started, I used to use it all the time because it was like the only club I could hit. And then I kind of lost it. Um, but yeah. And your five iron as well, yeah, the flight absolutely. there. I mean, now you can use the whole set. Yeah. Brilliant. Ideal. Well done, that, mate. So. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. That was great. A strong finish, that, wasn't it? That. Brilliant. <laughs> next one, next one, next one. Yeah. You need to be in that stage sometimes to just let your body adapt. Because otherwise, too much thinking clouds, clouds it. Oh, yeah.